technology in electronics okay. and telecommunication. Perfect. Very good. Let's wait for a few more minutes and then we'll start. Yes, yes, Rajiv. So Manish ji, uh, do you have that access of the G drive? If not, then I can add you the, over there. Both of you, Sonali, if you can also ping uh, your email ID, I will add uh, in a Google Drive where I have a bunch of uh, SAP training materials, resume template, like how to uh, prepare for your interview, for uh, uh, your next job. Rajivji, actually, Manish, it's a, it's a kids, yes. Uh, oh, okay. Only for. Uh, okay, yes. got it. Yes, yes. Yeah. I think you have a Sonali mail ID, right? Okay, let me check. I shared with. Sonali, you. do you have that access or not yet? The Google Drive. Last time I no sir. Okay, so if you can ping in the chat window, I can add uh, uh, your email ID to the Google Drive. So let me share my window and then I'll show you what is in the Google Drive and then we can uh, discuss. See so here we have a resume template. Okay. So for phrasers, what I generally recommend that to when you are creating your resume, it should not be more than one page. So if you think your email ID, I can add it to, let me see, I don't think you have it. And we have another folder here, SAP for beginners. Here you have a bunch of uh, training videos and books. So, really, your day to day job, right? Like, what are is kind of some testing or which industry it is? Uh, sir, it is EMS plant uh, in which uh, RF boards are prepared. I mean, uh, assembled in our company. Okay. So, uh, I am in debug department. Debug department. So you are working on IT side, right? What, sir? Uh, in IT or uh, some kind of testing? No, no. It is a pure electronics company. Okay. So do you go for like any kind of uh, what debugging, like defects? Uh, so uh, uh, the assemble boards are tested in our department, uh, which is okay. the testing department. So there are two types in test department, test and debug. So failed boards are uh, come in debug department. 
in which we test uh, the components uh, defect or any other process defect by using softwares which are given to us to uh, know the entire history of boards okay basically uh, quality so, control uh, no it is a uh, too much different uh, mm -hmm. than quality side okay so, there are so yeah, much sure. parameters which uh, comes from uh, basically rf rf testing radio frequency testing okay i am working on 5g technology sir okay that's good and which software do you use uh, we use uh, reptile for uh, uh, know the failure code history of that particular board by using serial number of that particular board oh okay that's good So in SAP, uh, it comes under uh, quality management. There are different aspects of it. Uh, yeah. Where, uh, yeah, you can check. Uh, do you know anything about SAP? I heard no, about it. Actually, which type of software it is? I heard it, but uh, I don't have any idea what it is yes. or uh, how it is how it works. Okay, that's good. No problem. But it's a good that you already have uh, your work experience, right? After you engineering, and that adds a lot of value. Okay, thank you, sir. And you can correlate, right? Like when we talk about let's say serial numbers, which you already know. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so in SAP or like even in industry, there are two types of uh, tracking. Like that's how we track, right? One is batch. One is serial number. So, in which scenario do we use batch or which scenario do we use serial number? You know? Oh, sorry, sir. I can't understand. In which what scenario? It is? Let's say there are types of uh, batch, right? Batch do the same thing, right? If you see that batch number in any pharmaceutical or any chemical, right? And then somewhere we see serial number. Okay. Right. So, in which scenario do we use batch number, and then for which industry or which scenario we use serial number? Why do we use serial number? Uh, serial numbers are used uh, for tracking that particular thing, or uh, we can uh, count the quantity as per serial numbers. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, so that's good. Umpragas ji can add more value. Umpragas ji is using SAP and he's from quality control. Yes, Umpragas ji. Very interesting topic. Yes, sir. Uh, batch, yes, sir. Batch, batch ID uh, consider for the which date we have the produce this lot number. So whenever we have the outside, whenever the customer use my product, when he had some problem, he escalated the problem to me. Then I check which day I have produced this product. Then I will recognize the same same base number same product sent to another customer also so same feedback if the same feedback coming from them then i realized that, okay my base is problem if not feedback coming from the other customer then i realized that, oh some problem some having process issue that customer also issue. so i sent the uh, information to my customer please check your validate your process also second is serial number each unit each product having the unique serial number so we can traceability which date which shift which person has been produced this product so we can easily traceability it uh, so if we are getting some problems from the customer side so we can um, finding the rca on the times and do the solution for the next improvement lot that's why needed for the serial number for the uh, for the traceability yeah. purpose for the inventory in for the inventory my finished good uh, product if i if i in plant so i can easily to find out okay this inventory in my hand so we can be this position this material yes mm -hmm. yeah that's good so the in in sap or in that industry wise right like if you see there is something called a discrete manufacturing 
have you heard about this terminology there is a discrete manage uh, discrete manufacturing and then there is like kind of process industry so process industry see in sap the thumb rule that when to use batch number and when to use serial number right they both are for tracking purpose in sap the thumb rule is if any product if you can repair then we use serial number concept that right? if something is broken you can repair it and in that for that particular industry we use serial number like any semiconductor any television or any goods which we which is which we can repair right if there is a problem then we use serial number and something where you can detect there is a problem but it is not repairable like chemical industry pharmaceutical industry right so let's say yeah in this particular industry right we always use batch number in chemical industry you will not hear that we are using serial number because if there is a problem then it is not repairable right you can, because if a chemical reactions will be there so that's a thumb rule like there could be it's a debatable but that's how we use in sap so serial number we use for discrete manufacturing where you can count the right, these serial numbers like each entity is right but in chemical industry it's 1000 pounds for the same batch so it's interesting interesting topic right the uh, serial number batch management concept and then there are a bunch of software right now to track those serial numbers right i'm working on a project where we are using a blockchain technology for your serial numbers like to track serial number or batch managed then there's something called a green token so yeah, what is the mean of the blockchain technology yeah so blockchain is basically it's more kind of secure technology so it's in block if you'll see if you like AI, it is super hot right now, right? Everybody is talking about uh, AI, Gen AI, ML, right? Similarly, blockchain is another concept for tracking. It is more used for supply chain, supply chain process. So supply chain process or let's say simple example. Let's say in case of Sunali, right? She has submitted her resume to any 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 person. We'll sim give you a simple use case. Okay. So now there will be background check right there will be educational check so whenever she applies for anybody and then if after interview there will be background check is she really working over there right so for there there will be some kind of agencies which will go and check it so blog if you are using blockchain technology then individual person's profile there will be a kind of secured code okay and then Personally, can give it like wherever she is applying. Hey, this is my code, and that is not. Uh, it's a prone to hacking. It's not, it cannot be hacked. So there will be very secure chain where each individual, let's say in your case or like anybody, like wherever you are changing your job, your employer will submit some feedback, and everything will be traceable. So similarly for batch, right? When we get any batch, let's say for any. Sir, you look like a QR code. Sir, you look like a QR code terminology yeah qr code kind of, kind of but in the qr code it's only you are you can scan it and then you can get all those details but blockchain is basically add every time so there is a different blocks so qr code is just kind of a block and it is static right your information is not changing until you change that qr code the blockchain is different kinds of block each time whenever it goes into different process like if we are uh, uh let's say making cookies right biscuits if you're making so what is my ingredients from where did we buy it right what was the process when the packaging was done where it is right now and so you can just scan one code and all your information will be there so it's kind of a different blocks so every time in the process you are adding something right and it will be distributable to everybody everybody can see it and right, where it is now similarly for any batch or any tracking number and your customer will know that particular this particular serial number who owns it if it is in transit how much time it will take so all your vendors 
So it's kind of, you're right, the QR is kind of a block, but the block changes every time you are adding different chain in process, and then it is distributed to everybody. So it is, you cannot change it, you cannot hack it because it is already distributed everywhere. So it's a very good concept, right? Specifically, if you are working in supply chain or in quality control. Uh, sir, uh, sir, little bit uh, confusion. Can you explain more, sir? Because yeah, I, I, I have here the new terminology, term, new terminology. And believe me, this is the future, futuristic thing. If you are working in supply chain, in quality, and then if you if you know about blockchain, if you are working on blockchain, that is a huge thing in your resume. Right? It is better than, in from your perspective, it is better than your AI. Like learning AI or ML, I'll tell you focus on this blockchain. I can I can upload a couple of training documents also, and you don't have to be blockchain coder. Right? You should know the concept. Right? As a functional person, right? You are working as a functional in the functional industry. Right? You are not uh, doing that. Coding is not your job. So definitely, you should know use cases. Yeah. So this is this is really very interesting thing. So for both of you, Bragazi and Sunali, you should also look for uh, this on a blockchain, and then you can also pursue your career. It's not like you don't have to be the blockchain coder, but that will be a huge differentiator in your resume. Right. SAP has acquired recently a company called Green Token. Someday, like I will present also the solution for Green Token, uh, which is very big thing right now. It's upcoming, right, for uh, all industries, right? So you, if you hear about uh, Net Zero concept, right? So a lo lot of companies are talking about Net Zero, right? Uh, reducing their carbon footprint. ESG reporting. So our, all those concepts, even uh, your industry, Sonali, have you heard? Probably it's not uh, the big thing right now in India, but in Europe, if you see, everybody is talking about carbon footprint. Whatever you are manufacturing, what is your carbon footprint for that product? And then, see the way all companies right submit their uh, profit loss account and balance it. Right? Similarly, there will be a uh, concept for green laser, green laser or sustainability reporting, ESG reporting that will be mandatory soon. It is already mandatory in US, uh, not not in US, in Europe, European countries. But everybody has to, all these companies has to produce that. So in those scenarios, this blockchain technology is very useful, right? which will be auditable, the report auditable, and then just one kind of QR code, and that's all. You see, right now, even for the educational industry, even job industry, right, it takes time, right, to to verify your uh, employment, to verify your educational transcript. It takes time, right? It takes time and money. So think about it, like for like let's say Umpragazi, if you create your QR code, not you but somebody, right? And they, like in in US, we have social security number. So just take that social security number. Will get everything for that particular person, and then it is not editable. Like whatever is entered for that social security, you cannot. Nobody can edit it. Right? So it's not. Uh, you cannot uh, lie about your things. Right? Whatever your credentials. So sometimes what happens? Let's say for educational transcript or there is a chance, right? Like if people is reaching to your university and then somebody can make it false certificate also right so those things if we do if we use blockchain in the educational industry or for job anybody can look at right? not anybody it's not like whoever access let me put that way like qr code anybody can scan using your phone right but there will be access code this will be highly secure technology so people can get all details and it will save a lot of time and money you don't have to go for any audit table. You don't have to hire for any third party person, right? Third party companies to verify all those things. So usually that blockchain is more kind of auditing perspectives, right? To 
to track the entire chain and uh, let's say another i'll jump i'll give an example let's say for fedex right if you get a fedex tracking number you you know when fedex is picking that packet until when it is delivered you will know all everything all those details a similar way they're like multiple these are one use cases but it is combination of all So, Sonali, for these sessions, right? Like what we discuss, anybody if they are looking for uh, changing job or enhancing skill sets. Earlier, actually, I had also started SAP training, and uh, then for three weeks I was not there. So it seems our folks who were very interested in SAP are not joining these classes. It seems so. But yeah, if you have any questions, any support, if you need uh, to get a better job. Right, definitely we can help you on this right to help you to prepare for uh, your resume uh, and which industry you want to go set your own goal right the setting career goal hey my goal is in three years i have to reach a certain level right that could be uh, from salary perspectives that could be a better position perspectives or your a dream industry right so let's say you want to join google amazon microsoft apple just giving you a few examples right where these companies hires uh, more from your background right? electronics or if you want to switch it from your quality side to it right? how to proceed that uh, so that's where uh, we discuss those things we discuss in these calls Pankaji, did you get a chance to talk to Bibhuti? Bibhuti ji, I think he, I don't know what, what is his job situation. Did he try anywhere or where is he? He was very really keen to get some help. Yes, I talked with the, him actually due to mm -hmm. some busy schedule in college. They will join okay. next Sunday. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Also got few resume. I'm helping. Uh, uh, I got today one resume. Ayush Raj. So I also forwarded that you invite to him to join and then uh, to discuss about uh, his profile. And then uh, he's looking for internship in the chemical industry. So before I send his resume, right, I want to, to discuss him. I, I want to make a couple of changes into his resume. I will reach out to him separately. And I know a couple of positions where we are hiring for like internships. One company called Lindel Bessel. Now it's a LYB. So they are looking for some interns. So Prakashi, how is your SAP training going on? Did you get a chance to get like get that access or please on your mic on Prakashji? Okay, okay, yes. Oh yes, yes. I have got it the access uh, to uh, two or three uh, coding for the bomb uh, bomb uh, bomb uh, access. So our company all the data switch to SAP. So uh, mm -hmm. parallelly, don't see a bomb description either another another application just to use the SAP. So right now we are started to use to utilize the SAP. So from the quality perspective, we have little bit of usage. Okay, yeah, we have used the change for purpose of the change may in a bit like look like ECO, EC and TCM. So all tasks uh, throw in the SAP. So my lead work well, team member are work there. I have little bit uh, activity that that one, but right now we have the getting the access, so we are starting the usage. So hopefully, okay, 
yeah hopefully we have started and good go over so we, i apparently i have also started the training which you have which you have the same with us so both are the working yeah yes yes, so yes try sir. to give it their access of quality system like see uh -huh. development system or quality system so, so in so sap sir, which, one, which one is the quality system is there which one is the quality systems okay let me explain like how it works right in sap uh let me open excel file and i can explain it to you or uh, the project implementation for uh, like in sap how do we proceed so you'll get more call uh, more uh, understanding which system will be better for you And this is not only for SAP, right? For any industry, right? For any software. The software development life cycle, that's what we say it as DLC. So there, is, there are two types of project management, right? Sir, what is SDLC? Yeah, software development. life cycle okay so in software development life cycle there are two methodologies waterfall and nowadays we also use agile this is like more kind of for product uh, project management stuff so this is we use sdlc with this terminology for any sap or any implementation any product project implementation right wherever you are developing or implementing any kind of software it could be sap it could be oracle people soft you just name it right or even cloud solution right so whenever we do this right like anything which you develop something is called development client In the or like in SAP, we said dev in short, short form, right? So once you log in into SAP, you will see uh, there will be something written like development quality or production. So development client, and then we have a quality client, and then we have a production. So production is your live system. So if you are getting any sales order or any sales bomb and manufacturing whatever you do day to day job that you are doing in the production client so when you are starting a project right let's say production is my it's like there is something called when you are starting a project you are starting the development client okay so in development client you will do the configuration you do initial testing right so the, these are the three environment in SAP. We say three different systems or environment in the development client, production client. There will be also a, something called a client. So development is a system. There will be also called client. So let me see if I have. Uh, okay, I have to log in somewhere first. Log into VPN and then I can show it to you what I'm talking about. Or if you're an SAP system right now, you can also see it on the screen. You can see in production client, you cannot test, right? You cannot uh, play around in production client, right? This is a live environment. So are you an S4 HANA or an ECC? Do you know? Uh, no idea, sir. Okay. So if you see, these are like S4 HANA system, right? See, because I work as a consultant, right? So 
So I have all different kinds of access. Probably that's what you have to take the testing environment. So you have to get an access of testing environment. If you if you make a friendship with security or basis people in your department, IT people, okay, and then they can create your user profile, right? User ID in quality environment, and then where you can play around. So, sir, uh, hundred hundred is a production environment. No, client hundred. Android. See, client, no, client is see, right now. I am, I am not in production environment. I will tell you what, what the, the difference is. It, what you are talking about, see, client 100. If you see there, if I go again, if you see, there is 100 and 500, right? So, in each environment, right? In development environment, we always create 100, 50 is fine, the 200. 300 something like that for each environment i'll tell you the difference okay so the difference is when you are doing any configuration changes right in in sap there's something called configuration right user profile so, user profile look like yeah. access, really. access. Not, access. Not really. see let me I'll, I'll tell you what is the configuration what is the data so CS03, right? that's what you use for BOM, right? So wherever you see these... CS12, CS12, okay. CS12 is basically, I'll tell you the difference. CS12 is basically, it's a, for mass, explore multi-level BOM. Right? There are two different types of BOM. BOM is bill of materials for Sonali, if you, if you are hearing this terminology. And of course, we, in our sessions, we discuss in details like SAP, but there is something called multi-level bomb, then you, you are using CS12. But if you have single level bomb, then you you, uh, you will use CS03, right? Or display the material initial screen. And to creation of this CS, create, right? Create a material bomb. So probably you are not, you, you don't have access of this. Okay, so again, come to our point, right? So, what is configuration? So, if you see all these plants, right? So, these things are configuration. This is pre configured, right? It is not configured in your live environment, right? We do that lot of testing, development, and then we move into finally to our development system. So when we are doing a configuration, there is something called concept called gold client, where we do only configuration, no test data. So that's why we have these different clients. Did you get my point? It's a little confusing if you are uh, hearing it for first time, but that's what this like 100, 200. If you want, you can, if you're an SAP, can you, would you like to share your screen? So uh, right now I'm on uh, mobile only using yeah, mobile. Yeah. So that's how SAP works, right? So this pre-configured thing, wherever you see that right, bomb usage, these are coming from your configuration, right? You are not, you will not be able to create anything or uh, add any list here. There is something called master data. So master data is client independent. You create, right? You master data and transactional data. So if you're creating something, it is called like master data. It is like only one time use. So CS12 is kind of your material uh, master data. And then you are using these concepts for a different uh, sales order or production order. Right. So do you know why, why do we create this? Why do we create a bomb? Yes, because it's a, it's a needed for manufacturing company. Because right, but what is the usage? Why why do we use this? Why do we no. create like a Because our uh, our product is a cost. So we have, we have the breakup also to which material have, we have been uh, composite in this product. That's why needed. Yes. I, each, each material, each part having some of the cost. So cost reflect is there though, in BOM. Let me explain it more. Since we are talking about bomb, let's discuss about uh, 
Uh, we find something. Uh, try to find the material. Or I can create, let's see. CS01. I'm just using my some configuration. V seven. VTAQ. Not have any bomb. Okay, let me use another environment where I know there are some bomb. So are, are you in uh, MTS or MTO? Which industry you are doing it? Make two order scenarios? Brikazi? Or uh, make two stocks? Sorry, I have no idea, sir. This this two type ter terminology, I have no idea. Uh, maybe yeah. maybe one one of the uh, hair, one of the hair. Then I'll tell you the differences, right? That's what that's why I purposely asked this question. So, okay. you should, uh, so what will happen? Like, let's say, what is make to stock and make to order? So, if you are selling something, first you are, you are manufacturing based on your forecasting, right? So, when you produ produce things, when you do that manufacturing, either somebody orders you or we have the we have we have on the forecast customer give you the forecast in the one quarter. Then we have to produce the product. Same the material has been has been sent from the customer side. Customer suggests yes. his supplier also. Yes. So we all yes. the material we bring from the approved approved supplier are all yes. supplier when the list in our uh, library. Yes. Yeah. So that's what it is, right? So what will happen here in this case? If let's say if you are making a furniture at your home okay simple scenario if you want to make your dining table right you buy stuffs and then tell carpenter that what should be the size right which color do you want right the painting and other things so when you are ordering it based on your requirement that scenario is called mto make to order right so the product could be different make to order and then there's something called mts make to stuff so let's say any any medicine if you buy you don't give any specific order right or let's say any company you get whatever is available and you use it right or any any food items right chips packets or whatever so they manufacture it and then same sell same thing to different customers but if you are if your customer is ordering and then we are they are giving you a specification and then once you get an order and then you start manufacturing that is called make to order yes sir we have the mto mto exactly i will know that mto mto make to order scenarios right so in the make to order scenarios but you create something called a, a pre-configure and then you assemble it right so if you are doing that kind of scenario assembling things like in sonal's industry except the, the things we see explained so there will be also pre-configured material right so let's say if you are um, i'm just let me see if i'm already there and then i can explain you better way
see this is a development environment pre production quality so this one and here we can play around and we can create our own mat bomb and then everything so what is the use so if i go here cs12 and if i enter here m905 plant let's say us30 and execute okay bomb application so bomb there is like different kinds of usage right so if you see the applications inventory management configuration control sales and distribution plant and maintenance and production general so let's say i'm using for sales and distribution here so if you see m905 is your header product and other comp other are components so what is that what is the use of this you will see practical use va01 this is your order you are get creating an order you are getting an order from customer i know we have not discussed about creating sales order but i'm just showing you usage of this let's see this is what happens okay see so us customer so this is screen for creating a sales order so customer is ordering let's say a desktop computer let me let it, let it come first and then i'll see you so m905 i'm entering m905 okay i'm entering only one order one material So basically what happens like all these things other things will be exploded over there okay all these materials will automatically come over there so example uh, by then If you are ordering Dell Inspiron 3020 is small for desktop, right? So in that case, you are getting all other things. You are getting monitor, you are getting mouse and everything, right? So the moment if you are ordering this, all other things will come automatically. So you are creating a bomb for this particular material, and then other things will be delivered to you. So that's the that's the whole concept for creating a bomb. Do you get my point? So it is basically a kit item. So you have one header item, this particular material, and all other item, child level items will automatically come there. So for your production planning, right? You are using this particular material, and other components will automatically come. That's why we use bomb. All these things will be pre-configured, attached with that particular material. Did you get it? Trying to find some this in this. So if you are using this particular material, all other things, then what is the difference between multi-level and then single level? So if you this assembly, so within this particular material, there are other materials too, right? This is more apparent, but this is also a bomb material for this particular kind of thing we use cs12 umprakashji and we are a multi level bomb so bomb within that bomb this is also a kind of bomb so in M, uh, cs0 cs12 we see all the different levels okay. i like i like pain and refill also yes so refill we also yeah. need it's like a kit right if you are buying something you will get a lot of bunch of other materials with that 
So if you have that kind of scenario, we use bomber bill of material. Sir, one of the CS12, another one the CS0. CS03, see, when you are creating CS12 is basically a combination of the multi-level bomb. Yes, okay. Yes. So CS03 and CS12, see, they are start from CS01. CS01 in, in SAP, right? If you see, one is to create, two is to change, three is for display. So CS03 is for display your single level bomb. So basically you are getting details of this one, right? M905. But if you go to the same material, and if you go to CS03, you will see a different structure. So in the same same material, if you see CS12, you will see a different structure. The reason is, see the difference between this one and the other one is, here you have M111, right? It's a single, but M219, if you see there's M219, M219 has also its own child. So this one, if you go to M219, let me see open one more screen. M219, wherever you see this assembly, this is another material. And if you go to CS03, M219, it has its own material. It has its own child. So these are like a grandchild of M905. So within that, this, this has own family, right? And in CS12, Actually, it's kind of whole hierarchical structure. You can see everything over there. Right? So that is the difference. That's why it is known as like multi-level bomb and CS03 is a single level bomb. So, uh, Rajiv, uh, uh, Rajiv, sir, one of the question is there, um, uh, one of the product is uh, our mobiles. The so mobile mm -hmm. having the multiple bill of materials. And PCB, mm -hmm. uh, one of the child part is the motherboard also. Our motherboard <laughs> also some the bill of material also. Exactly. Our mother yes. are in the power IC having the uh, also the some the bill of materials. Yes. So how we can configure in in, in this in this scenario? Yes. Yeah. So that's what the, the, the configuration part will be. Each time you have to create a CS01, right? So the the way you have to create you have to create like bomb in using cs01 this is create material so you will create at a dat level first and then you will create that pattern the grand pattern like m905 and once you do all those things will be connected automatically and then you can see in cs12 do you get my point so whenever you are creating anything let's say everything will be, you have to use in cs01 See, CS12 is basically hierarchy for everything. It's entire family. You have to start from CS01. So that's why, like, see, in production environment, you cannot play with these things. Right? So you try to make friendship with IT department and they will create it. I, I don't see any issue because they are already working for the same company. Right? So they ask them that, hey, can I get that access in quality client? And then you can start creating your own bomb and then see what is the differences. And then uh, the way we have it here, right? Uh, bomb usage. So this bomb usage you also see when you are doing a CS12. So there are production. So if you are using these kits only for production, not for sales side, right? So in production, you cannot enter all those things. Like when you are creating a production order, all those things will automatically explode into production order. So in that case, your usage will be zero, one, right? one. If you want to send it to customer, then it will be sales and distribution. There's one more concept called universal where you want to do everything. I know like you cannot understand, this is a complex topic. 
but if you are very interested at uh, uh, in that book uh, there is a chapter on mom the book which i uh, uploaded and then there are also video training videos on this okay so try to get that access and then uh, next time if you can or you can also send me a message right i can connect with you when you get at uh, your system access right i can explain that not only the concept but uh, how to use your system right to create uh, let's say sales order and uh, production order right to understand in depth of uh, a bomb bomb concept right the discrete manufacturing quality and other stuffs yes rajiv ji we seen amrit ji something so amrit ji can you say something about yourself uh, amrit raj lifted hard <laughs> 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 heaven i don't know yeah yeah umprakash ji check Exactly, the psycho is here. One of the we suggested the persons you come here and do uh, improve your skill. Then they the exactly is one of the injection is their hand in their Ajib cells. They have inject in our body. So uh, next day I have the improve my skill. It is taking time. It is it is taking times. It takes time. Uh, people need to take seriously, right? Like when you are doing it, right? Learning, then uh, implement into that, right? So in, that is important. It's it's important, right? You have to prepare yourself, right? Nobody can, like you mentioned, right? Inject something in you, and then you will be superpower. No, you will not get that way, right? You have to ask a question and then first fix your goal, right? So your goal, and then you have you should have the passion for it, right? It's not only setting goal. So what happens? I am getting motivated. <laughs> so that, while helping people i am getting motivated so i am also implementing those things whatever i talk right okay create scripts right set up set your goal create your own script before you go for interview create your resume focus it focus on that right so <laughs> i have another call with my daughter today she just started her college uh, at carnegie mellon right the same thing right So set up your goal, and then the goal that says I want to do my after graduation I want to do MBA from Harvard. So how to proceed, right? Who can help you on that? Then we and then step by steps, right? So it's sometimes when you repeat yourself, right? It also help you. It's a positive environment if you are trying to create. It also help you, right? So, because yes, if you are yes. really interested in blockchain, I think I, this is very interesting area, right? So, if you you already have industry experience, right? Like lot of experience, you know lot of things. But yes, right? sir, so, I I know I know a lot of things, but I have the different different way. So, I want to collect. As a as a SAP is the term terminology, I think so. I terminology which I. I can uh, I can enhance my experience in the SAP through and and earning the money and through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you already know, right? See, you know more than I do. The reason is because you are in the manufacturing sector, right? You know your industry, yeah. right? So what Pankaj is I am trying to do? Just a example, Ramayan ke time pe. हनुमान जी को बताया गया था कि आप में इधर शक्ति है तो यूज करो सी यू इट सो यस डेफिनेटली ब्लॉक चेन इज रियली इंटरेस्टिंग वन एंड यू कैन यूज फॉर यू कैन मेक योर होल यूज केस फॉर इट राइट इट है आई हैव यूज ब्लॉक चेन आई हैव यूज ड्रेन टोकन लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट इज सम कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड मास बैलेंसिंग राइट and then there is a very upcoming area the sustainability i am i always talk about sustainability that's not about this sustainability in environment and other things so these these technologies right it will be it's already too hot right you see in india there is no compliance like right? there is some but nobody follows that right but in europe people are taking it very seriously 
So each thing like your carbon footprint tracking, right? It's a big thing over there. It's coming in US too. It will take some time. Sir, what is the uh, terminology for carbon footprint? A lot of time I hear that, but I don't know about it. Okay. Like carbon footprint, right? So up yes, what is your carbon footprint? What is our carbon footprint? So if we are taking a car, riding a car, right? And then using fossil fuels, right? We are using gas, petrol, yeah. right? For for our own uses, we switch on AC, we use electricity, yes, yeah. right? So these electricity is also produced by either coal or by oil, right? petrol. So, so then these are your carbon footprint, right? This is your carbon footprint. Whatever you are using this, this is your carbon footprint. Similarly, if any company is manufacturing something for, let's say, for your own industry, right? So there are, they are using all these things. They are using vehicles. They are manufacturing, right? And also all those raw materials, whatever you are procuring or whatever you are using, that is also carbon, right? It is, it is emitting carbon, right? So if you make anything, any finished products, so making your finished products, what do you use? You use raw materials, you use machine, right? You use packaging material, you use transportation, right? So whatever you are getting that final product in your hand. So if you calculate all those things specifically for that particular product, so that will be the carbon footprint for that particular product. So carbon footprint is nothing but whatever you are getting, right? What, how much carbon is emitting, emitted to make that particular product? That is carbon footprint. Okay, yes, yes. yes so, I, I understand. Understand. Yeah, I'm working on a couple of projects right now. I'm actually leading uh, the sustainability at uh, at Accenture. So making. See, like, let's say if you take any Coke, Coke bottle, right, a Coke can, you see all those contents written there, right? What is my, what is the sugar level, carbs level, right? What is that uh, ingredient to make these things, right? So similarly, there will be carbon footprint to make any any product. Let me show you what something very interesting. So in US. Or not only US, even in India, right? Like if you want to see my screen. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's say IH to New Delhi. I'm just searching. Booking any flights. See? If you are booking this particular flight at this time, you are your carbon footprint for your ticket will be 891 kg CO2 equivalent. See, that is coming everywhere nowadays. So what means if the, you are what, booking, is, what means the not understand? Not understand. So if you are flying, let's say if I fly Air France from Houston to New Delhi. At okay. this point of time, this is my ticket price, right? Round trip ticket price, and this is this much carbon will be emitted for this. So, if if you are flying, right, you need fossil fuels again, right? Okay. Plane ko urne ke liye to chahiye na? Ji 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 ji. Yes. So, yes. uska aapke particular ticket pe is time if you are flying, this much you will emit carbon. So you will be responsible for this much carbon. So I mean, okay. each level we are tracking, right? Okay. So in my company, we also track that, hey, why to use flight, right? Because flight is it emits a lot of carbon. So that's how we calculate carbon footprint for, for any consulting company. Right? Let's say if your hundreds of employees are flying at this point of time, hey, this much, this is your carbon footprint. If you are flying from this Air France Delta, but if you are flying from Emirates, see, yes. emission is too much. It's almost double. 
क्योंकि सी दिस फोर्टी सिक्स परसेंट इंक्रीज इन योर एमिशन एंड देन इफ यू यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्लाइट यू आर एमिटिंग लेस सो इट्स नॉट ओनली प्राइस राइट समटाइम्स वी ऑल्सो चेक then what will happen like if you want to reduce your carbon footprint what will happen i will not take a flight from emirates i will take air france right this is another factor pricing is one factor but this is another factor why to choose air france between air france and emirates so not in india right now but this is upcoming area and then we are tracking our own carbon footprint for companies also that's what i was today i was mentioning about it see the way we are uh, like all companies you always see the balance sheet and profit loss account right if, if any company is listed right so similarly it is coming that you have to show this kind of detail in your green ledger hi niti hello sir Hey. Is then good doing? morning. I am doing great, <laughs> sir. How are you? Good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah, doing good. Good, good evening. So, so from from your I, uh, time zone, I said good morning. There he is. Good evening, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. That's why I said good morning. Yeah, no, I was. Yes. So that good morning was for me, not for Pankaj Jain Omtaji. Ah, not for others. So good evening, everyone. <laughs> yeah, good evening, good evening. So, any progress in your uh, job hunting? Job hunting, not not there. So it's still paused, and there are so many questions which are still in un uh, unanswered zone. So <laughs> I was just. Oh, thinking if you have some time, we can connect on some another <laughs> channel, and where I can get the yeah. guidance from you also. Sure, sure, yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. So be ready with your question, sir. Sure. It and we can discuss it one by sure. one. Sure. Definitely. Definitely. and upar ka ji try to get your quality access and then we can uh, definitely meet you can also ping me and then i can explain yes, couple yes. of things yeah. yes sir so i am going and see the my sap access and do the all or again the check the my access what is i have put that yes and then yes, yes, yeah do the yes. practice yeah yeah my lead videos videos yeah my <laughs> My my lead having the multiple access. They have the uh, master users, but they have no about the SAP more more. So I will getting the a password or no get the password is and yeah 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 yeah. So we can understand what is the problem. Yeah. Mm. That's yeah. why we have the uh, we have product. Yeah, Rajesh sir, we have the product on the product. Then we check the bomb part. Okay, I, I, and SAP we have to check. Uh, inside the product name, then all the below material in the uh, inside. Then I know that one the child part which having the also the bomb part. So we have the uh, uh, M one two M zero nine where the channel is also showing in the set, na? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you use CS zero three, that is easier yeah. to look into that. So CS zero okay. three, whenever you see assembly check mark. That means that particular child also has their own child, right? So kit items. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and there are a bunch of tables, right? And then see, this is because see, right now you are focused only in one area, right? Then then you will understand, right? How to, what is the usage? How to use that in production? How to use in uh, quality control and then in the sales order? I am from sales background, right? Say order uh, order to cash. So my focus is always right to check. To create order, right? And check uh, some uh, call. There is some concept for item categories, uh, pricing. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday, yesterday I have uh, yesterday night I have checked the bomb bomb material. Those two uh, applications, one of the SAP, yes. one of the another application. Another application also the same bomb part uh, introduced there because the uh, rework part is there in application. One unit having the some rework activity, they replace the material. So enter some component in the data applications. So my lead is suggesting me please cross check 
SFP bomb versus that yes. application. They that both bomb is same or not. So I uh, in, uh, import the Excel from the SFP from that application and compromise uh, compare with the okay one component has been the, I have got the different. So this component manually insert during the assembly. So my yes. I am calling to my lead. This material having the some differences. Okay, my lead suggest me. Okay, this material manually inserted during the assembly. That's why its material showing in the SFP but not showing in the that application is not in the Okay, okay. So exactly my query is yeah. solved. So we have to. Do that that so is that's a good thing, right? See, that's what like you sometimes, right? Like these times could create a big problem, right? Because if yeah. your bomb is not correct, right, it means that your material, that your master data is not correct. Think about it. If you had not compared it and then send that using that SAP transaction, then what will happen? Your customer will be mad. They can cancel entire order because see that's, that particular thing will not work. If you're yeah. missing any component, any piece, then what will happen? Right? Yeah, I agree. Right, that that will that thing will not work, right? Any any component, any key components is missing, yeah. then the entire order will go in waste, right? Yes. Sir. So that's why like these things are very important to correct your master data, right? Yeah. It may impact your customer relationship. Yes. Right, customer. Because see, what will what can happen in this scenario? Yeah. There will be huge transportation cost. Right, because you are making in a bundle, you are sending it, right? There will be packaging and everything. You are sending it. If something is missing, then what will happen? It all, will go to the return. Return, right? So again, it will become or you have to send it another one. Right? So these things are important. Like right? so correct to master data setup in ERP system is very important thing. It will also impact like you have pricing at the bomb level or at a child level or parent level. Uh, what is this? Then? Your pricing, right? Let's say I'll give you an example, right? So the same yes, desktop sir. example, right? So even though yes. we are not using desktop anymore, but I'm just giving you an example, right? So if you are giving an, uh, let's say Dell Inspiron, right? So you are ordering that and your pricing is dependent on all those kits or for the full thing for the for the order right for the material yes sir. so at what so level depend, have a... depend upon so, uh, yes. depend on the all the child part all the all the child part is the configuration has been changed then then cost also also work. yes so basically in that case your pricing is based on item level yes right whatever is the component See, there are a couple of things. One, see the same bomb topic, right? So for header level is just basically your text item. You're not creating or updating inventory based on that. Right? Your inventory is based on all items, like all kits level, right? So your pricing, your inventory, everything is at item level. Right? So in the same example again. If you are missing any key component, then your pricing will also be incorrect. Right? If you are missing because your pricing is calculated based on your components, yeah. your kits level. Yeah. So your pricing, your master data, that's what like whole whole ERP thing, right? It's a, it's a, it's connected everywhere. So, uh... so get it. So, uh, Rajiv sir, my one product, specific product, having the some the cost nine hundred dollar. Okay, but I have the import. Uh, I have import the uh, my safe bomb. One material having the missing missing in my bomb section. So cost will be differ from the my uh, one product cost and the safe cost. Well, when I price yes. pricing to customer, then cost will be decrease or the same cost. You have everything. No, see, see, yeah. see, when you are selling it to your customer, you are not displaying your cost. It is pricing. Cost is your internal thing. Right? Okay. So, okay. cost is your internal thing. So, there will be cost, there will be pricing. Right? So, pricing is your sales pricing. At what price you are selling it to customer? Cost. 
So in this case, right, if your pricing is at item level and that item is missing, your cost will be incorrect and then your yep. billing document will also be incorrect, right? When you are billing it to the customer, that will also be incorrect. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. So there right, will be a right. lot of issues, right? Like just because of one component is missing, your accounting will be incorrect. Yes. Right? Your billing document is incorrect. Yes. And then whatever you are doing, everything will be returned again. Right? Yeah, it will customer. go back to quality check, right? Because you cannot send that same thing to other customer. Yes. Right? So these things matter a lot just because of one component, right? Like and let's say if you have hundreds of orders for that material. Yeah. Right? So master data is very important. Yeah, yeah. So you can write like, like say you found as, and then see there are like you mentioned that you downloaded materials from SAP and then you compared with another system. That's also huge inefficiency. Right, because you are doing a redundant work, you are maintaining master data at two places. Uh, Rajiv sir, but we are seeing, uh, we, we have observed that in the plant, we have finished the one the product. So I have give, given the FG note to my the inventory operators. They have do the uh, inventory, complete the inventory in the SAP. So not mm -hmm. checking what is the material, uh, material are assembled in this product. Just the enter the KRQ or product number and then inserting the uh, inventory. Mm -hmm. So either different you know, physically material what we uh, assemble in the unit and what is the his transaction in the SAP. So both are the different because they have no idea because they they have the child part in year plant. So SAP the uh, transaction is complete. One material having the note in the stock, but physically stock. We have produced yes. the product, but in SAP material is just missing. So uh, uh, when the transaction in it, then one error is coming. This material having the note in stock, please transaction from the uh, from the warehouse from the other suppliers. Then he then he activity. So that's exactly. So that's what the, the practical problem any company faces, and when it happens when people are not entering in sap correct way right? see sap will not go to your warehouse and then check everything as it's not a person right sap is yes. a system so yes. someone has to enter that inventory in the system right if how do we get inventory inventory to get that inventory you create a purchase requisition first right there will be purchase requisition, there will be purchase order. Based on that purchase order, there will be goods receipt. Yes. So when there is sending that, if that particular GR, the goods receipt is not entered there in the system, and if your vendor has already supplied, and then your warehouse person has not doing that GR in SAP, this problem will be there. You are receiving it physically, right? but not maintaining or uh, updating that uh, against that purchase order into sap yes. and it happens it happens a lot i'll give you an example once i was doing the sap implementation in china so there's a global implementation in one of the chinese plants there were only two person who knew sap okay and then in india like or anywhere right we keep it uh, a fair copy and then what would I am forgetting the term? Rough copy. Like once Rough you copy. write anything and then you will fair everything, right? So yes. that's how they were using SAP system. So they were entering everything into their quality system, not in the production system, not in the live environment. <laughs> if if no, there no. is no error, then they will enter in the production system. Really? Yeah. Right? <laughs> so if there is any error, they will forget it. They will just keep it like one cheat sheet somewhere and okay, I have received this much and then I will stick that in the plant. So how, how inventory will match? Yes. Again, business is going as usual, but if you run a report, you are seeing these things are not there. Then how, how are we creating orders and a business is running as usual, right? Yes. So things happens like this way. See, and that's what when it happens like when you are your users are not properly trained not motivated that is another thing it, it happens a lot 
see it doesn't matter which types of system you implement if your business you just business stakeholders are not properly trained right sometimes what happens also that people are trained but they don't want to uh, use uh, the system change management right where nitish department can come into help change mm -hmm. management is very important right so without proper change management any implementation can't be successful right you are spending million of dollars but if your change management is not done properly no. and people mm -hmm. should also motivated right that is very important so where, i'll give you another example in one more one of my sap implementation projects people were thinking that if sap is implemented successfully they will lose their jobs right okay, so yes. people do not cooperate for any sap implementation project they think that why to why to even bother let it fail they will create all types of hurdles in the meetings they can ask ask something weird questions okay if we can do these things in excel file how, why can't you do that in sap right so our directors they don't know what they are using right? they are unnecessarily paying you a lot of money to implement this kinds of crap system this is not a good system that right? these types of they are they will try to create hurdles so they yeah, you have to bring them on board right you have to train them properly and then they should not have any fear right to lose jobs so otherwise people will keep doing this right so your uh, your decision makers are like higher level people but these three people like who is working actually they should be sir, sir one of the example is here i am uh, 2001 i am working in the landline mobile uh, companies so there mm -hmm. the stdpco is the business is there stdpco every uh, shop is the stdpco yeah. Once the, once the city mobile comes, so HTTPCO owner tell me, okay, my job is lifting. Well, how I can do my survive the our life? Right now in mobile mobile industry, the five to ten crore people are working in this in the industry on the mobile. Mm -hmm. Look like a mobile charging software, accessories mm -hmm. look like here. Yeah. So new technology, new job creation. So look, right now the everyone differ and uh, scared from the AI systems. Yes, it will come in in India. Then yes. our job will be job will be left. So everyone that is scared from that one. Right. So see, it's change. Technology is changing, right? Every day. If we are not adopting it, right? If we are not changing ourselves, we'll be obsolete. We'll be out of market, out of job market, right? Or big company, it happened to them too, right? Same same thing about like mobile industry right 2000 until 2005 everybody in india everybody had like nokia phone right yes. nokia right. was world leader yes right few years and like in the same time frame if you see kodak kodak camera right if you take yes. a reel and then go and then go take a negative and then you will go to uh the photography shops and then you get a right? kodak was kodak has 95 percent market share yeah. Where are they now? No, I don't know. Right? Okay. Done. See, there were like cassette industry, VCR industries, right? Yeah. Those things we have we had seen that, right? Yeah. Floppy yeah. disk. Yeah. Mozir were Mozir were coming in the CD and they had boomed the market. Right now, see, he is not in market. Right now, the Mozir were. Yeah. So that's what. I, see, we have, similarly it can happen to us too, right? If we are not adapting. If we are adamant on not changing ourselves, that okay, whatever we know, that is enough. No, that is not enough, All right? Because if we are not changing, and that's what happens to those users too, and then they will start saying, "Hey, we lost jobs." Right? Like, it will happen, right? If you don't change, then some other people will take your space. See, when the computer started, right? Like we were, I'm talking about uh, early. Not really. Uh, maybe late nineties when computer was coming, that everybody was thinking that oh, we'll lose our jobs. Earlier we had like all. If you go to any offices, there will be that one kind of almari, and then all those files, right? Those, those days are gone. 
all right if we don't change it then someone else will take your place right so that always happens so yes definitely this ai thing will change lot of jobs like lot of jobs will not be there right those clerical jobs like it will make your ai we should make ai our friend right like if you are sending any email or anything i mean i'm i'm right now i'm doing a lot right so uh, let's say i'll give you an example if i am submitting any appraisal for anybody in providing any feedback mm-hmm. right so i write a feedback and then i go to chat gpt or like accenture has our like own ai system i insert it there and then it will create your nice wording very polished english i just copy it and paste it right those things are making impressions right <laughs> so it is making you smart last week sir yes. last week last week my appraisal is going on so i have do my goal setting all the achievement in insulting then some the motivation and, and there the respective and train to uh, our colleagues and uh, registrants and some the respective adjectives so i copy from the google send and a good good word in the inserting there yeah. so with the example also we, we have to do the daily process so inserting yes. there so. you, you, you chat me with for this it's a free even google uh, gemini is free but ch- i like ch- still i like ch- chat gpt okay so use the word so make so these things are making us smart right like make them these technology as your friend use them as a friend all right and then see enhancing our skill sets learning is the reality right without learning enhancing your skill sets you not we will not make any progress yes so yeah yeah exactly so every day is like a learning opportunity to try to yeah to so, enhance so that is, so rajesh sir in the sap i have seen that one uh, our one product is yet to finish so my transaction behalf of the bomb materials not a physical material so my operator is done the one material one product is finished so all bomb materials should be consumed should be consumed physically if it is the missing we have don't know they have the uh, in chat in the sap and all material is consumed if one material is not assembled in this product so one material inventory in physical inventory on my plant but product is finished so how we can uh, what you can what you suggest to me so how we can facility how we can facility yeah so see the consumption inventory right in in sap there is a concept called movement type right this movement type brings material and then there are certain movement types which will either go to consumption account or it will go out right or make it obsolete scrap or send it to customer location right so there are movement types so there is a transition called migo m i g o where you can control all these things m i g o means migo is transaction code like cs12 you mentioned cs12 right yes so yes, transaction yes. code There is a transaction yes. code M I G O. Okay, okay. Where you control all inventory movements, in and out. So, sir, what so, is the terminology? What is the terminology? What is good solicit? If you see M I G O, transaction code is M I G O. Yes. Okay. Okay, I can show it to you later on. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, that's all for then today. and then uh, let's let me reach out to couple of folks so i i got a resume but yeah seems they have to be more motivated i can definitely help them but i they i want that be, if i recommend somebody like they will get job but i don't just want to recommend like whatever i am getting i will forward it now uh, they need to change something in the resume couple of things and then be prepared right i want before uh, sending them for interview i want them to be prepared it's kind of like opportunity right avail this opportunity so i'll reach out to them uh, separately anyth ji if you want like any time you can uh, ping me and then we can uh, connect on uh, whatsapp or uh, google chat or uh, zoom and then let's see what your queries are uh all right sir you are okay. talking to me right right sir yes yes, yes okay yes, yes, yes. uh i am texting you whatever whatsapp will be fine yeah. thanks okay sure okay perfect 
Okay, thank I think that's so all for them today. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rajiv, for making Pankaj sir. Thank you, Niti. Thank you, Rajiv. Thank you, Pankaj sir. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Yes, Prakash Ji. Yes. Some, oh, I had to push Bandai.